Jesus said in John 6:35, I'm the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never go thirsty. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture says, streams of living water will flow from within him. And what Jesus is talking about here in this passage is that, that there's a longing inside all of us for fulfillment. And there's this hunger inside us to be whole and to be, be complete. And Jesus is saying that, that if we put our trust in him, that's where we'll find true satisfaction and true meaning and true purpose in this life. Jesus said in, in John 10.10, 10, I have come so that you would have life and that you would have it to the fullest. There was a point in my life where I was trying to do everything that I could to, to find fulfillment and try to be whole. Try to be whole. No matter what I did or what I said or thought or tried to fill myself with, I was always left empty and my life was, was not to the fullest. And there was a point in my life where, where I just got so empty that I was ready to, to commit suicide and, and uh, I allowed Jesus to come into my life and to, to change me and to make me whole. And He has given me that, that life, that full life that He talks about and that He promises. Because that's what we were created for. God created us all to know Him personally. He created us with worth and He desires to know us. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. And we see God's love is demonstrated by Him him doing that for us. And Jesus says that this is eternal life, that you know me and you, you have a relationship with me. But the thing is, is our sins keep us from having a, a relationship with God. And sin is just missing the mark. Anytime that we, we fall short of God's plan and God's perfection, that's sin. And because God is perfect and holy, we can't enter a relationship with Him because of our sin. It says that all, all people have sinned. There aren't any good people and that we all deserve death. This is pretty pretty sad news, but, but there's hope. You see, God provided a way. He provided Jesus. It says in the Bible that, that uh, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can get to the Father except through me. And Jesus died for our sins. And he paid the debt that we owed. He, he died and, and uh, was buried for three days and rose again, proving that he was God. And, and he paid the price when he died on the cross for us. And now we can have a relationship with Him and we can, we can uh, bridge a gap that, that separates man from God. And we don't have to, to go through life with, without hope and without meaning. But it's not just enough to know this. I was raised in the church and I, I knew this stuff, but it didn't become real to me. I needed, I needed to, to accept Jesus personally and turn from my sins. And this happens by, by confessing to God, God, I am wrong and you are right. I am wicked and I need your hand and I need you to, to cleanse my sins. I recognize that you are holy and perfect and I am not. And I ask that you would just forgive me and that you would cleanse me and that you would make me the person that you need me to be. And I, I come under your authority and I, I decide right here and right now to follow you and to give you control of my life. And, and when we come to that point of submitting to, to Jesus, there's a change that will take place and we will find that fulfillment that we couldn't find anywhere else. And I just challenge you, maybe you know Jesus and maybe you need to get right with Him. Maybe you don't know Jesus at all. I just challenge you to, to keep seeking God because He is there and He desires to know you and He desires to fill your life in a way that you can't find satisfaction in anything else.